Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. Today we're going to continue our tribute to Gary Graham who played Ambassador Saval. Today we're going to see if the Vulcan Surak class ship can take on the Klingon D2 from the Enterprise era. Now the Surak class ship is interesting. It has phasers, but it has some sort of torpedo that I've never seen before. It has the ability to drain shields from what I can tell. But the Klingon D2 is very powerful and its torpedo in particular is highly damaging to almost any ship I put it against. Let's see what happens. Well, Vulcans really like their pointy ships, don't they? Pointy ears and pointy ships. Hope there's no Vulcans watching. Right, see, look at that. Their forward shields are severely drained, and their side shields as well. Oof. Okay. So yes, the Vulcans were powerful in the Enterprise era, but... I do think the Klingons were a match for them, certainly. And I remember Ambassador Saval in the first episode said, thanks to um, their diplomatic efforts, Earth wasn't surrounded by birds of prey right now. That would have been bad, wouldn't it? Oh, missed. Okay, this is a... Oh no, look at that! We've taken the front off the Klingon ship! <laughs> Their top shield has failed. Oh, we've made them angry, I think. We've collapsed their shields. It's almost like the Vulcan ship is using smarts over power. What the heck? They're using their science and technology. Wow. Well, the Surak wins that That's round. Let's see what happens if we try it the other way. Okay, here we go. I really like the model of the ship. It's so detailed. There's that torpedo. Look at that. So powerful. Our phasers aren't doing much, but our torpedo is. Okay. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Hmm. Disruptors don't appear to be working. Like with the other Klingon model. Maybe it was a design choice. Maybe they decided not to include them in the final build. I'm not sure. I don't seem to remember. No, they did fire the shrubs, didn't they? I'm sure they did. Shields are at 75%. Okay, well, so far, the Vulcan ship has amazing shield regeneration. They might not be the most powerful shields, but they regenerate quick. That's an interesting trade-off there. Our phaser is not doing much against that ship. Look at that. They've just regenerated. Shields are at 75%. Trying manual firing here. Nope, that didn't work. Oh no. Whoa! Shields are at 75%. <laughs> We appear to have lost the front of the ship again. That's the second time that's happened to them. Where did we leave it? Okay, well, the issue here appears to be I can't inflict enough damage and they can just hang around. Oh, sensors. Well, there's only one thing, honorable thing left to do, really. Oh, no! They took that from me! So it's come to this, the Klingon Shuttle. If you haven't seen this before, this Klingon Shuttle is a bit overpowered. Okay, let's even the odds out a little for us. We've got three Klingon Shuttles. And we've just collapsed the forward shield with the Disruptor. The Disruptor is quite powerful as well. From Oh my goodness, there you go. But yes, if you don't allow a Klingon to ram into another ship, Klingon shuttles appear. 
Thanks for watching, and bye for now.